limited turnovers and the points they were able to get on turnovers, and that, that's kind of what, what swung the game. See yeah, what? yeah, no question about that. I thought, um, especially even in the first half, a lot of the points that they scored, um, you know, were, were fast break points because um, you know, we turned the basketball over. And, uh, you know, we had to do a better job. You know, I talked about rebounding, and obviously we did okay on the rebounding end. Um, but we had to do a better job of taking care of the basketball. We gave them too many free points. Um, in transition, and uh, you know, if you allow them to hit some transition threes and they get open looks, now they start making tough ones, and uh, we let them get their head up. Coach, tonight the way it was a physical game, I almost expected Gene and Judd to be there coaching. But for you, who came from that era, do you like games like this, Coach? Sure. I, you know, I thought our guys didn't embrace how the game was called. I thought our guys had to do a better job of being excited about it, you know, and, and, and playing through that. And, we were able to have some success in the first half, and I thought they ratcheted it up a little bit, and uh, we didn't respond to them. And, uh, you know, you have to adjust. We, we've had games called close, and we've had games where they let you play. This was one more that um, they let us play, and I didn't think we made some very good physical plays, especially shooting the basketball at the rim. I thought there was a lot of contact there, and that's fine, because I thought it was consistent across the board. You know, it allows you to be more physical on defense. And I, I thought our bigs really didn't embrace it as well as they could have, or really all of our guys. And uh, i got to give Michigan State credit. I thought, I thought they were mentally and physically tough, tougher than us in the second half. Coach, you talked about your players not necessarily adapting to the physicality of the game. Right. Do you think that's sort of what led to guys like AJ and Ray Bill adding for, I believe, 4 of 17 from the field, just not, not the production that you typically see out of those guys? Yeah, you know, you, you just have to, you know, there's a lot of things that go on when you get play. I thought Costello was great. Defensively, he did some really good things, and uh, you just have to do a better job of keeping your balance in the post and in shooting your shots. And a couple shots AJ had were good shots; they just didn't just didn't drop for him. Um, but you know, we just have to you know be better at what we do. Sometimes we get late in the season, and as a coach, sometimes it doesn't go your way. Um, we just got to be more you know physically and mentally tougher. And uh, we, we've shown that. We've shown that in sports. I thought we showed that a, a good chunk in the first half. There were still 20 minutes left, but in the first half, I mean, he goes from 9 to 3 in just a yeah. matter of seconds. How critical was it? Yeah, I think it was really critical. You know, they, they make those back to back threes and they get in transition. And um, you know, that was huge. Then we don't execute um, at the end of the first half. We try to score the basketball against the little bit going um, to halftime. But no, those were, those were big shots for them. Man, but, um, um, you played Haas and Hammond together, we for a little bit there. Yeah. Uh, what was, was the impetus of that? And then, I guess, assess how you think it went. <laughs> well, it was only a couple of minutes. I, I thought, um, you know, we, we just didn't, we didn't move the ball well. And if we're not going to move the ball well, might as well play those guys a little bit together. And if you're going to be stagnant, might as well be stagnant with two seven-footers. At least they have a reason. Um, so I, I just thought we didn't get much movement to start the second half. You know, in the first half, you know, I, I, that stretch, you know, we just had to get the ball moving and uh, get up from side to side, try to look inside, look to drive, look to play, and uh, we just didn't do a good job with that. So we were just, you know, trying to think um, at that point, just to try to get a, maybe a good mix of guys in there. To... This was, I mean, might have been AJ's worst game, at least in the Big Ten season, as far as converting there around the basket. Yeah. You, I don't, I mean, it wasn't a great game, I guess, from the beginning, but you think the flagrant affected that at all? Did you see him play you know, after that? I don't know. I, I thought it was, uh, you know, it, it was a frustration foul. I saw it when it happened. How they didn't call it when it happened, I don't know. Um, you know, he felt like he was getting fouled at the other end, and uh, the guy was coming under him. And so, but you know, it was part of the game. You know, I think they were consistent. They called it both ways. And uh, he just lost it. And uh, it, they ended up, you know, they miss a one and one. And we missed, I think Costello misses one and two. So it was only a point they get the ball back. I forget what actually happened. But he's got two fouls. Did they hit three? So they hit three. Did they? Okay. But then, you know, he's not in the game then. And then they make their run while he's out of the game. Um, that being said, we did, once again, we do some positive things. We missed two front ends of one and one. And, you know, we just need a lot of points on the board. It seems like in that kind of stretch, uh, whether it's the first half or the second half. And, I don't know. It's obviously I wish he wouldn't. Have, you know, I, I thought that was you know something that didn't need to happen. You can't let your frustrations get the best of it. I know a lot went into this game, but how do you make sense of the fact that the reason started going down the last two games and the team results have been? Yeah, it's 
you know, that's the only thing we talked about offensively. Um, you know, we've been pretty productive. And we said, hey, if we could actually make it three, you know, our offense would really take off. And now we've started to make threes in other areas of our game um, as suffered. So um, as a coach, you know, that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to, you know, get that complete offensive game. Coach, would you think a little more in detail about Brian, uh, Kendall, and Dakota, and sort of the impact that their duties have made, sort of kept in the game period? No, they did keep us in the game. You know, I thought they got good looks, and uh, you know we could have converted around the basket and made a couple of free throws. Um, we would have had a pretty good balance, um, but, but we obviously didn't. But I thought, you know, it was good to see those guys make some shots. You know, good for the conference. You had talked about you know, trying to take better advantage of the defense.